What's up everyone and welcome to a Minecraft Bedrock Redstone tutorial video. I'm your host, Omeledu, and today I have for you a working dice machine. We're going to be going over several different designs ranging from super duper easy all the way up to this one. The nice visual double dice where at the push of a button you can instantly see what you rolled on two dice. Now of course you don't have to mirror this. I did design this to be mirrorable but you can just build one. You know if you just need one dice that'll be super easy as well. But then if you want even easier designs these are for you they don't use redstone lamps and they are super duper easy to build so you press the button look in the dropper and you will see what number you rolled it's as easy as that whether you just need one dice or you need two that's also easy to do you just add another dropper or two basically but if you don't like looking in two different droppers for each dice I have a design for that as well this uses one dropper and two dice so you'll get two numbers inside one dropper easy peasy if you know which design you would like to build, check the video description for the timestamps. I'll be sure to include those chapters so that you can skip ahead to the one you want. But right now, if you like stuff like this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more adventures. I love making videos, but I can't do it without your support. These first designs are so cheap they don't even need a materials list. Simply start off by placing a dropper facing up and then two temporary solid blocks on top of that. Then go next to it, dig down two after popping out one of those temporary blocks so that you can place a dropper facing down into that other dropper. Now pillar back up and then pop out that other temporary block. Place a decorative solid block next to that dropper with a button on it. Come around to the back and place a redstone torch on the back of that block. Dig out these two blocks and place a redstone dust right there. Now in the dropper you can just name paper or you can make these number banners. I'll include those banner patterns at the end of the video. But put six of those in this bottom dropper. I'm going to put one in the top dropper just to show that it works right off the bat so when you press the button the top dropper will shoot its item into the bottom and then the bottom will give a number back to the top one now you have a dice so if you want two dice simply go to the side here next to the button place a dropper facing up two temporary solid blocks pop out the bottom one dig down two and then place a dropper facing down into that other dropper pillar back up and there you go now you have a double dice. You know, you can pop out this grass if you want to. And now you have two of them. Just load your numbers. And now when you press the button, you'll get two numbers. Now you'll have to look in both droppers, of course. And that's what the next design will fix. If you want uh, an easy peasy uh, double dice without having to look in two droppers, then that's what this one is for. So this one's a little longer. It is six blocks long, but start off again by placing a dropper facing up, a temporary block, and then a solid block. This one's going to be permanent. Place another permanent solid block on top of it with a button on it. Now come to the side yet again, but come to the back this time. Dig down two, place a dropper facing down into that other dropper. And instead of pillaring up, make sure this is a solid block. And then dig out to the side here and then around here so that you can place an observer facing away from your droppers, like so. Now dig out these six blocks in front of this observer and then place a redstone dust in front of the observer and then two repeaters on maximum ticks going into that redstone dust, like so. Now dig out these two, make sure this one is a solid block and then come up here, place a redstone dust on top of that solid block Place two more solid blocks next to that redstone dust above those repeaters. Now place repeaters facing toward the back of the machine, also on maximum ticks, like so. Now place a solid block attached to that repeater. You can always place a temporary solid block if you need to, but then place a temporary solid block on top of it so you can place that observer facing the back. Place two redstone dust going up that observer, and then place one final solid block right there, coming out of that repeater and you're done so now come to your dropper and you want to put two of every number so again you can just use name paper if you don't want to make the banners but I like the banners you know you can tell at a glance 
uh, what they are. So I'm going to put both sixes in the top just for giggles and then press the button. And looky there, the sixes go away and oh, we got a six back. We got a five and a six. Also, be sure to use a stone or a blackstone button. If you use a wooden button, it almost doesn't work. So if, you're, if you build this on like a realm or you have it around a lot of lag or something, then it could potentially skip a number with a wooden button. Um, and you wouldn't want that. So stick to a fast button, either a stone button or a blackstone button. They are faster than wood buttons. And now on to our final design, the fancy redstone lamp dice. Now we're going to talk about placement and mirroring first. You can just build one of this, and if you just want one, like one dice, that's an 8x7 area. But if you want to mirror it so that you have two dice, that's a 15x7 area. Now for placement, you either want to dig down 5 or dig down 3. Like the only difference is going to be on the dig down five, I'm going to lift the, the lamps a little bit so that it's easier to hide the redstone. Uh, and so this is what you will end up with. So if you want to hide the redstone, dig down five. Now, if you're going to build this like in a wall or something, or you just don't care, or you care about the, the cheapness of it, then only dig down three. You get to skip a step in the tutorial, but it'll be harder to hide the redstone. Um, so like these right here is the only difference. There's a block, an observer, and a redstone torch uh, per piston on the one that you hide the redstone where that isn't here on this one. So, you know, if you care about materials and you don't care about hiding the redstone, you only have to dig down three. But whether you dug down five or dug down three, come to one side in the middle and place six pistons like so. Now come to the back side of those pistons and place six redstone torches on the back of those pistons. And then place a block of obsidian right there so that the pistons can't move. Now place six glass on top of the pistons and then six solid blocks next to that glass. Now jump up here, get your comparators. Be sure to face this direction so that the comparators are taking a signal from the back of the machine and sending it forward. Place solid blocks next to those pistons and then redstone dust on top of these solid blocks and on top of this glass. Now get your hoppers and come to this side. Crouch and place a hopper going into each of these comparators. Make sure they are going into the comparator like so. Now get a solid block and place one two blocks away from that obsidian. Jump up here and place two droppers facing up. You'll have to crouch jump to get those droppers up there. Now place a hopper going into that dropper and then hoppers going into that hopper. And then hoppers going into these hoppers. Make sure these hoppers are going into that line of hoppers like so. And then get solid blocks, crouch and place a solid block next to that hopper, next to that torch, next to that glass, and then coming out from here. And then blocks all the way this way. And so this line right here, if you mirror it, they are going to share this line. They're going to share this torch. Um, but yeah, so now place a comparator right here, like so. Be sure to face the front of the machine when placing that comparator. Now place a repeater. And redstone dust coming out and all the way around. So if you mirror it, they are going to share that line of redstone dust, but they will have their own dropper and comparator. I'll touch more on mirroring at the end of the build tutorial. For now, place these line of hoppers above these other hoppers like so. Now grab your solid blocks and place a temporary solid block right here with a dropper on it facing into these hoppers that you just placed. Pop out that temporary solid block. Come over here and place a hopper going into that dropper above the other dropper. And there you go. So now it's time to load items into these hoppers right here so that the machine knows what number was rolled. So you can name paper or you can just use six random items. Um, I'm going to use name paper to kind of keep it straight. Either way, place three of the number and then 21 of some other item. It doesn't matter if the some other item is named or not. You can name it just to be safe, but it should never go through the system. You know, only the six uh, special three named items or whatever should ever go through the system. So, you know, it's it's probably safe to use sticks or redstone dust. But if you want to be extra careful, you know, you can you can treat this like an item sorter and name your filler items as well. Uh, but in general, just have six different named number items so that you can put three in the first slot and then 21 of some other random item in the last slots. 
And then once you get all six of these hoppers filled, it should automatically have all six of your named items in this dropper right here. It should have all six of these automatically. If it doesn't, something's wrong. Um, but yeah, so now moving on, if you dug down three, um, this is how you're going to run your lamps. Now it's time for that discrepancy right there. So if you dug down three, uh, place a temporary solid block right here with a piston on it. This is where your pistons are going to go. Uh, and then break out this redstone right here in exchange for a repeater. Um, and then run redstone like so. And so that's the main difference between the, if you dug down three, you just run these pistons like so, um, and then the skip the next two steps that I do. Uh, I'm going to place a torch and then an observer and a solid block and then these pistons again. So if you dug down three, um, just ignore the next three blocks that I place or something like that. But if you dug down five, you know, we're going to continue on from here. So if you dug down five, place redstone torches right here. And then place observers above these redstone torches. You're going to have to, like, jump and kind of finagle it there. There we go. And the reason I'm doing it this way is I was having issues with it skipping um, when I tried to run the redstone differently to raise the lamps. Uh, so this was the most stable way that I found. Um, but anyway, if you dug down three, this is where you begin again. Place blocks of redstone on top of those pistons. And then place three temporary solid blocks on top of those redstone blocks. Now pop out the middle two so that you can come back here and get more pistons and place pistons facing down one block away from the redstone blocks. Make sure they're facing down and then come out this way with them and place six of them above those six redstone blocks like so. Pop out that temporary block and then come back to the front of the machine. Then place a temporary block right here so that you can place redstone lamps right here. And so that's where your redstone lamps are going to be to show you what number you rolled. So now it's time to add the button. Place three solid blocks right here and a button on that one right there. Now come around to the back here. Place a solid block coming out of this block. And then a solid block coming out of that one as well. Place redstone dust going up onto these pistons. And then come back down here. Place a solid block next to that dropper. And then a solid block next to that solid block above that redstone dust. Place the redstone dust on top of that block. Then place a block on that redstone dust. You can always place a temporary block if you can't place it on the dust, I understand. But then jump up here and place a solid block on top of that dust. And then a repeater on maximum ticks going into that solid block. Now come over here and place a block coming out of that repeater. You can place a temporary block like so if you need to. And then come back up to the tippy top and place redstone dust right there to connect the button to that repeater to send the signal down. And it should be done. It should work completely. So if you mirror it, it they are going to share this button. Everything on that line they share. Um, but it should work. So yeah, you can test it a few times. Be sure that that it works. Um, the farther away the light, the longer it'll take to activate because the item has to go through the hopper line before it gets sorted out. But if you're going to mirror it again, they are going to share that redstone line, that torch. Um, so like you come out from here and start mirroring, you know, place um, like this comparator and repeater um, where they are like so, but they share that middle line, like everything on that middle line doesn't need to be mirrored. Um, just kind of build what you see or build as you go if you haven't followed the tutorial yet. Um, either way, yeah, they, they share it just like so. They share all that button stuff. Um, they just have their own item sorting cells and pistons, basically. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So here are the banner patterns for the numbers. If you like the numbers, I do. And that's all we have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more adventures. And don't forget to leave a comment for those YouTube algorithms. They don't care what you say, but I sure do. So tell me what's on your mind. Tell me what you think about these or what you would like to see in the future. But until then, I've been your host, Omeledu, hopefully teaching you a redstone trick or two. And reminding you, as always, until next time, don't forget to have fun. Bye.